good morning students today i will be discussing one chapter from political science and the chapter name is power sharing i have divided the chapter into three parts for your convenience so in the first two parts we will be going through two case studies and one is from belgium and second is from sri lanka in the third topics we will be talking about what are the forms of power sharing so i will complete my chapter in three modules so let us start the chapter as as you can see here power sharing what is power sharing or what do you mean by power sharing power sharing is the technique to share the power at different levels see this is a technique you can see here technique so these powers are shared in different levels example the powers of central government state government and local self government the powers of the governments are shared in three levels and also the powers are shared between legislature executive and judiciary it is a basic idea of democracy without power sharing democracy cannot work out so the benefit is that the power is not concentrated at one hand so the power will be shared among different organs of the government and different layers of the government in every democratic country power sharing is very important so let us discuss why power sharing is important the power sharing is important because of two reasons first reason we can categorize this first reason as prudential reasons and second reason as moral reasons so let me explain you what are prudential reasons when power is shared it reduces the political conflicts and conflicts between social groups and second it provides stability to government that means government will be very strong and there will be no uh, major issue to the government third one it brings better outcome so from these three points we can assume that when powers are shared if it brings better outcome that we can call as prudential reasons so what do you mean by mean by prudential reasons when powers are shared it reduces the political conflict and conflict between social groups it provides stability to the government third it brings better outcome so we can say it brings positive outcome and the second reason is that moral reasons so as you can see here power sharing is the spirit of democracy so without power sharing democracy cannot work out also in a democratic country in every democratic country people have the right to take part in the decision making so you see here the people have the right to be consulted in decision making no government should keep the people away while government takes decisions so because of these two reasons we can say power sharing is important the chapter power sharing can be explained through two case studies one is from belgium and another is from sri lanka so let me start with belgium this is a map of belgium this is very small country and belgium is divided into two regions the northern side that you can see this white area shaded area this is known as flemish region and southern side the darkened area this is known as wallonia in this country 59% of people they speak dutch as the language 
and 40 percentage of the people they speak French and remaining one percent they speak German so from this we can understand that in Belgium people belonging to different ethnic groups so what do you mean by ethnic group an ethnic group is a social division based on shared culture it means people staying in one particular region they may have common culture let me explain you the other problem in the capital city of Belgium that is Brussels Brussels is the capital of Belgium where 80 percentage of people they speak French as a language and 20 percentage they speak Dutch as a language so here all over the country Dutch speaking people are majority all over the country 59 percent and 40 percentage of people are speaking French so they are minorities this one percent don't take them as serious so all over the country Dutch speaking people are majorities and French speaking people are minorities when it comes to the capital city Brussels the situation is just opposite here 80 percentage of the people they speak French so they are majorities and 20 percentage of the people they speak Dutch they are minorities so in such a way as the situation was going on see the condition the minority French speaking community was rich and powerful it means the French speaking people were very rich and powerful politically very powerful whereas the majority that is Dutch speaking people they were not rich and powerful and also the majority Dutch speaking community did not get benefit of education and economic development this issue has created a conflict between the Dutch and French in Belgium so this was a main reason for the tension between the two groups in Belgium let me explain you how did Belgium solve the ethnic problems see whenever people are fighting each other it is not good for a country so the government should take appropriate measures to resolve the conflict in every country if the government fails in doing so so the ultimate result is that sometime it may go for a civil war or some other armed fight but the Belgium administration was very very serious about this issue and the government has taken timely steps to resolve the problems in Belgium let us see the how did they resolve the problems from 1972-1993 the government of Belgium has amended the constitution four times four times to enable everyone to live together within the nation so even though Dutch and French they had differences the government was very very vigilant in resolving the problems and government has given high importance to resolve their conflict with that purpose four times the government has amended the constitution